Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad from Rad Tarot. And uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and also uh, Cancer Rising Weekly General Tarot Reading October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be interested guys in a personal reading with me or if you do want to take my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. And as well, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us, just uh, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads. So with that being said, uh, moving straight away to the Cancer reading of the week and the very first card we do have, that is going to be the Six of Cups, followed by the second one here, which stands as the Page of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ace of Wands, uh, followed by the fourth card of your spread that is going to stand as the Six of Swords, and uh, the last card of the spread that will be the World card. So it's a pretty um, narrative driven reading for you, Cancer, and it all revolves around a one individual here, which is the Page of Pentacles. And uh, the thing it is that uh, no matter how things develop in between you two, at the end of the week, it's just they are going to be wrapped around. Meaning that what it is at the end of the week, that is how it is to stay. So make sure you do give the best out of you to, to have the situation end the way you want it to end. You definitely will have that chance. And so starting up here, uh, the week with the Six of Cups, literally that card only says that you are going to have a really, really pleasant time. And as we know, the further uh, the accompanied card or the further cards into the reading, um, that really good time is going to be with that person, the Page of Pentacles, which truly steps in into your environment after that plays out. So... <clears throat> With the Six of Cups, you are going to start to grow to relate with that person on a emotional and as well a physical level. That is like, you know, just starting to getting to like each other, starting to getting to uh, know each other better. Now, because this is a general reading, uh, I will have to say it as well in terms of a career, how things are to develop in generally. And the Six of Cups, when it comes to professional um manifestation it's also a very um easy going and, and light-hearted card it is because it does shows that at least at the start of the week for you cancer uh the tasks the deeds the duties you know the responsibilities that you will have to undertake of what you are working uh, they're going to be rather quite pleasant for you and if beforehand they happen to be like chores uh, now it seems that you will find a more coping way to, to deal with them moving forward. But the true play of the Six of Cups, it is that you're going to start relating yourself with uh, somebody on a physical and as well emotional level. And talking about the devil itself, man, Page of Pentacles. Uh, the Catalyst card is going to be the Three of Swords. So we do have those two. They happen to be a, a passive enemies. And that is person... I don't like that type of people, but that is my personal opinion here. Because this is a person who does not handle... Um, how can I say... Um, ugly things or, or ugly ugly truth so to speak so that is somebody who whenever you have a to say to say a thing okay that it is unpleasant they are going to simply plug their ears they, they just don't want to hear it at all these are people that doesn't like to uh make an account for the past these are people who doesn't like to remember a, a, a difficult times these are people who doesn't like to to remember um, uh, failures and as well i don't know breakups and so on and so forth so what i'm trying to say here is that these are people who very uh, in a very difficultly or in a very difficult way they learn lessons they haven't learned way too many lessons from the past and therefore they are prone 
to repeat same mistakes one more time. Now, most likely you are already know that person. Most likely this is a somebody that you have is as a friend more or less. But as you move forward into the reading, uh, into the reading, into the week, and as we do move forward into the reading, uh, you are going to start seeing that there is more and more value in, be in between you and them, more and more value into this uh, friendship. And when the friendship reaches its peak, the value will not going to be at its peak. And therefore, the only um, possible conclusion is more committed partnership most likely a romantic partnership uh, it's not excluded as well to be a business partnership also uh, in either case uh, the next card here plays out for you uh, which is uh, the uh, ace of wands and that only speaks that you and this uh, pe pe person page of uh, pentacles you are about to form a really gaining full enterprise in between one another so whether it is business whether it is relationship, even if it is business, you still are going to start developing that interest to one another. But in either case, uh, that will happen to be, like I said, a very gaining for enterprise in between you two. But the thing with the uh, Ace of Wands, it is that this new beginning, so to speak, is going to be um, for the uh, for uh, for a bigger extent nothing like or it will be nothing it will be unlike anything you had experienced thus far so it's going to be something really new as experienced to you which is going to make it very interesting which is going to make it very desirable so to speak and uh, the whole endeavor the whole enterprise that you are going to undergo with uh, the page of pentacles will allow you to become better into something for example will allow you to become better into flirting will allow you to become better into some kind of a skill some kind of a knowledge whatever that cooperation in between you and the page of pentacles predisposed for is going to make you simply better into that uh, into that field um <clears throat> Just when it comes to the Ace of Wands, uh, passion plays a bigger role than emotions. Passion plays a bigger role as well than uh, than stability, so to speak. And uh, uh, you, how can I say, it will feel like you are throwing yourself into something. You are not very sure how you're going to get out of it. And... Uh, this obviously is going to make you a little bit more fearful of, of the future than, uh, than you should be. And uh, that is exactly what the next card truly shows up here for you, Cancer, which is the Six of Swords. And uh, that is about the, the fear of, of moving forward with the whole thing uh, due to the unknown nature of how the whole endeavor in between you and the Page of Pentacles is going to end up. Um, this fear could be because of many things. Uh, for example, this fear may be because the things are going uh, unbelievably well in between you and the Page of Pentacles and you are afraid that uh, you are going to lose it one day. This fear may be because you had similar situation in the past, it didn't end up well and now you are afraid that uh, it's going to end up the same way like it ended up before in a disaster. This may be a fear as well uh, that, um, you know, the Page of Pentacles may betray you moving down the future or may be a fear of that you are throwing yourself into it way prematurely than you are used to. Some kind of a fear because, like I said, the circumstances will be unlike anything you have experienced thus far and therefore in a very unknown environment. You're going to find yourself in a very unknown environment. Now, in either case, the Six of Swords, it's, it tells us a couple of things. Now, the first thing it is that there is nothing for you to be afraid of because whatever you are to experience in between you and the Page of Pentacles, it will be something very, very new for you. And therefore, you cannot fall from the place where you're finding yourself before um, 
you started the whole thing with the page of pentacles so you are not losing anything from what you had before the whole interaction started and the second thing that the six of swords is telling us it is that the attitude and the um uh, the cause that you have is the same attitude and the same cause that the page of pentacles has and i i think i forgot to mention but page of pentacles these people are very devout so when they are devout or devout to a certain cause they do not let go of it so you may be you you can be sure here to their determination and as well to their consistency and uh, the last card that we do have it is the world card for you cancer and that pretty much wraps the thing around the things around what it is it is and there is no change into it what i mean is that at the end of the week you both will have to decide what you are going to be for one another are you going to be a business partners are you going to be lovers are you going to be just friends whatever your decision is that decision is uh, pretty much final and so at the end of the week if you still feel unprepared and you for example say um you know i like you but i think that we are getting ahead of ourselves and we should be a little bit uh, we should remain friends for now friends is you are going to remain forever okay same thing about uh, about relationship uh, about a business relationship so to speak so uh the end of the week it is the end game pretty much and at that point you will have to display your um true intentions so to speak and i uh, have the courage to back them up with your actions so if you like the person throw yourself into commitment if you don't like the person then just don't do it for the sake of it you know if you want to do business with this person just say it and start doing business with them because whatever you are you end up at the end of the week with this person that is how you're going to stay um forever is a strong word but pretty much that is how it stands with the world so with that being said guys this was your weekly general tarot reading uh, for october 18th up until october 24th uh 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then bye